Hello everybody, this is BCAP100 and welcome back to some more Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations. In the previous episode we had finished off episode 3, The Kidnapped Turnabout. And case sparked a memory for us going into episode 4, Turnabout, Turnabout Reminiscence. <laughs> so, if you like what you see, leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe to me if you haven't already. Share with your friends so they can join in on this for themselves and comment if you have anything to say. So, let's get moving. Turn about reminiscence. Okay, Faraday. The young lady who called herself a second. the y second Yotsukurasu. The piece of cloth that she had conjured up had. It's taken me back to many years ago. Seven years, to be exact. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I did it. I killed that guy. But it was the great thief out of Garassi that turned me into do it. Objection. I asked the defendant. Just what exactly are you trying to say? Didn't you get it? I need to chew the identity of the Yana Garassi. Issue. So, man, send me over there at the press camp, bitch. Are you saying that I am the Yatsukarasu? Did you get in it? You told me to kill him when he stuck into the embassy. Are you claiming that Mr. Pa Faraday is the Yatsukarasu? Objection! Mr. Rao, I think we've heard just about enough out of you. You mean it? Please, listen to me. I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me! And the opponents with the defendant's accusation. A new prosecutor shall be called to replace Mr. Faraday. The court will be in recess until the new prosecutor is ready. September 10th, 320 p.m. Just a court. Third floor lobby. It's almost time for me to enter the court room. And so it is that my first assignment with as prosecutor will be as a replacement for a prosecutor who's been accused by the defendant. Pardon me, I'm all a little stuffed up today. It's worth. Oh. Sir. over all of the documents regarding this trial. 
Yes, sir. I've memorized everything there is to, to know. Very good. The paperwork for the prosecutors. Substitution is just about complete. Edgeworth, as always, bear in mind that as your mentor, I'm Manfred von Karma. Well, except nothing short of perfection. I understand, sir. To have the chance to stand in court at such a, an early stage in my career, I am honored and proud. As I have watched over your studies, I am giving you this very rare chance. Prove yourself. Crush the defendant's pathetic lies into oblivion. Yes, sir! That's such... That such a legendary prosecutor is watching over and judging my performance. I have to be perfect in every way. Alright, let's take a look at the organizer then. What do we have? Just the prosecutor's badge. How about profiles? He's 60 here. My mentor has never known defeat in 35 years. A legendary prosecutor. <laughs> Today's trial should have ended in just one minute. Because the defendant was picked up by the security camera, correct? Exactly. The killer had the gall to say that he only killed because he was instructed to do so. Even more outrageous is his claim that the case prosecutor, Bern Faraday, gave the order. Faraday is such a fool. He's been cornered by his very own prey. Sir. Are you acquainted with Mr. Ben Faraday? <laughs> He's a pathetic man who speaks nothing but nonsense. Nonsense. He once tried to explain to me a way of punishing those who cannot be brought to court. Those who could, be, could not be brought to court? That is nonsense, for no man is above the law. Well, there are always a few exceptions. However, there is no reason to even deal with such individuals. Prosecutor is a guardian of the court with no one, no obligation to outside matter. Thus, there is no reason to deal with such individuals, I see. Edgeworth. Disgracing yourself as Faraday ha has will not be forgiven. Have no fear. I will not let you down, sir. In the place of the in place of the accused prosecutor Bern Faraday, I prove the defendant's guilt. Very good. I've secured an hour of recess for you to prepare to do just that. Show them all the power of Avon Karma. So, have you achieved a firm understanding of the case? Yes, sir. I've memorized everything that there is to know that is written down in the case files. Well then, explain the case to me. 
want to see if you really know what you are talking about. Understood. A murder was committed on September 8th in front of the Kadofin, Kadopian Embassy. Really, Capcom? The Edgeworth, Mr. Dead Man, was a staff member at the embassy. The defendant in this case, Mr. Macro, was held for questioning the night of the incident as he was deemed suspicious. He was quickly placed under arrest for possession of the murder weapon, a gun. Furthermore, at the time of the murder, the great thief Yasukurasu had successfully infiltrated the, em the Kadopian Embassy as well. At first, Rel claimed that he, he himself was the Yasukurasu, but that he did not kill him as a dead man. I wonder what he expected to gain from such a desperate lie. It's possible that he wanted to go down while in the spotlight if he is found guilty. There is surely no limit to people's insanity inanity. But I digress. Continue, Edgeworth. Yes, sir. During the trial, the prosecutor presented the security footage that captured the murder. The footage clearly showing Mr. Rell as the murderer. The act of Mr. Rell firing the gun could clearly be seen from the visitor's gallery. Upon seeing that, the defendant retracted his statement and admitted to the murder. I did it because I was told to. By the real Yacht Grossi, Bern Faraday. Mm. That sounds about right. However, you've forgotten one thing. Oh. Well, this may be a, may appear to be one of the Kadopian Embassy staff member. People are actually referring to it as the second KG-8 incident. The second KG-8 incident? I'm very sorry, sir. I fear I failed to study hard enough. Huh. Well, even among the police, it's information that only a select few are privy to. Could you please enlighten me, sir? <sighs> sir, what do you mean by the second KGA's incident? In order for me to tell you that, you must first learn about the original case. Take a look at these documents. This is a three-year-old newspaper. You have heard of the Amano Group scandal before, correct? Ah, let's take a look at the files. Alright. Kadofian Embassy staff member Manny Cochin found not guilty. Shadow over the Yamato group? What is relation to the smuggling ring? The victim is Sissy Yu. Yes, I have. The secretary of Asamano, the Yamato group's director, was arrested. Under suspicion of smuggling. Correct. Sissy Yu was an employee of the Yamato group. And the sole witness to the smuggling operation. It was she who brought the crime to light. However, Miss Yu was silenced before she could testify in court. 
Was it a Kadokian embassy staff member arrested for the matter? Yes. Kadokian by the name of Manny Cochin was a, a suspect. However, due to lack of evidence, the case was unresolved. Lack of evidence? I was in charge of the case. I would have done everything in my power to prove his guilt. To make sure that all criminals are found guilty. Memento really is just dedicated. Faraday was the prosecutor on the case then. And he was as pathetic as ever. Mr. Faraday was in charge of the case. KJ incident as well. That's right. And now, once again, the victim of the case you are currently assigned to was someone who was scheduled to testify against that smuggling organization. Just like the last time, the, the victim was murdered right before he was to testify. You're catching up. The victim was murdered just before his day in court against the smuggling organization. The events are occurring almost exactly the same way as they did in the KG-8 incident. So that's why it's being called the second KG-8 incident. Yes. Yet, there is one difference between the two cases. What would that be? And the so-called noble thief that is sending everyone into an uproar. The great thief, Yatsukurasu. Yatsukurasu? I better find out more. Alright, where were we at? A lot of talking. Alright. We'll finish up this conversation and then we'll call it an episode. If it is true that the Yatakurasu showed up at the Kadopian Embassy, what could he or she have been after? Hmm. No doubt to steal any suspicious accounts, records, and release them publicly. Or, more likely, to steal secrets from the Kadopian Embassy itself. Since the item that the Yatakurasu stole from there was sent to the police. What was it that the Yatakurasu sent to the police? I don't know the details. Anything related to the Yatakurasu is getting the top secret treatment. Still, I find it very ironic. By returning the stolen item to the police, it was proof positive that the Yatagarasu had infiltrated the embassy on the same day the staff member was killed. Criminals have a way of incriminating themselves, wouldn't you say? That would have to be the first time the Yatagarasu has left evidence behind, correct? Yes, indeed. If you wish to learn more about the Yatagarasu, then I suggest you ask Faraday. Mr. Faraday? He happens to be the prosecutor in charge of the Yatagarasu case as well. He's a prosecutor in charge of, it, of both the KG-8 incident and the Yatagarasu case. Mr. Faraday really has a lot on his plate. What is it, little girl? You scare me, mister. Look! Did you need something? Um... I want to trade these coins with you. If 
office full of dimes, quarters, and pennies. And it looks like you have exactly a dollar. Is this what you want? Oh, it's Young K! Thanks, it's exactly what I needed. Young K is so cute! A child be here towards the trial. How disrespectful for a child like that to be running around inside the courthouse. Does no one have the respect for this country? Judicial, sh judicial system anymore? The prosecutor's substitution is complete. Why, you do you even know how much time there is left before the trial resumes? Hey! Uh, I'm sorry! I can have you mopping uh, this courthouse instead of protecting it in an instant. Uh. It's no bother, sir. Not being completely prepared proved to be a perfect handicap for me. Huh. A proud one you are. You had better collect the evidence from Faraday. And prepare yourself. It's time for your debut, Edgeworth. Uh, I'm struggling so bad here. PM District Court, courtroom number three. All right. Well, we are gonna end this off here for today. In the next episode of Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, turn about, turn about reminiscence. Fuck me. Um. We are going to go to court for like the one and only time. So. Until then, I will see you guys later.